بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو انادر ویڈیو آن اوریکل ایپ ایکس ٹوڈے ویل بی ڈسکسنگ گوگل میپس ان اوریکل ایپ ایکس ود آؤٹ رائٹنگ کوڈ سو اٹ وڈ بی پلگ انس بیسڈ اینڈ آئی ول ٹرائی ٹو شو یو ہاؤ سمپل اٹ از ٹو انکارپوریٹ اور انٹیگریٹ گوگل میپس ان سائڈ یور اوریکل ایپلیکیشنس اوکے لیٹس پروسیڈ This is how it will look like. So there will be coordinates like here, field, and based on this, it will show you the mark on Google Map. Uh, and at the same time, when you will click it uh, or on any place in the Google Map, it will show you the address over uh, in this field. Okay. Okay, uh, here are the steps we are going to take today to get information about this uh, topic. Uh, first of all, we will generate API key from Google, uh, for Google Maps. And without this, it will not show you the Google Maps. Yes, you will just see the map, but it will not be an active map. So for this, uh, you need a card. because uh, this uh, in order to generate api you need a credit card or visa card so or maybe paypal as well so you will get registered with them they will not deduct any money uh, money but they will do some uh, i think uh, in 0.5 dollars some test transaction and then they will revert it back to you because google maps up to certain level or certain uh, number of visits it's free but after that they will charge you so this is how it is okay i will show you the how to generate that key as well anyway okay then you have to download uh, these uh, plugins for uh, google maps by jk6464 import plugins then we will import these plugins inside our apex application and we will enter this api key we generated in the step one above then in in existing application or in a new application we will create a page and add a region and we will select this uh, plugin over there okay then we will check google map we will run it and we will see the results right now uh, i am i will take you towards the practical part uh, where we will uh, do all these steps one by one right okay now let me go sorry okay this one right okay first i told you uh, i will share these uh, uh, urls which are, which are required to be uh, used to download something or do something so here it is developer.google.com here you have to register get register if you have an account then you need to create uh, uh, api key right all these steps are written over there itself when you will come here and you will get the api key right you can even further restrict your api key but anyway for this example or sample i'm not going to restrict it uh, and here will be you can just go to the credential page and you can create the api key right once api is key is a gen, uh, api key is generated just copy somewhere now our next part is to download these plugins from here uh, jeffrey camp jk64 okay uh, if you see here there are different types or uh, levels of uh, these plugins one is a simple plugin and one is report plugin so in report plugin multiple uh, parameters are you can pass the sql data into that so you can have multiple marks or different uh, type of uh, types of your um, google maps you can uh, draw and they have some you know like this plugins for dynamic actions as well right okay if you see here uh these are uh, i mean uh, explained over here different types 
of uh, Google Maps like here, market clustering, um, spider fire and uh, heat maps, directions, like this, right? Everything is over here. Here he has some demos over on his site you can visit, which is over here. Just you can visit to see different uh, look and feel or different types of uh, uh, chart designs, right? Then he is mentioning over here uh, Oracle application 8.2 or later, right? Google API key, yes. Inst installation instructions are over here. You can just follow these. Uh, if you see here, this is a report Google map. So then you need SQL, right? And SQL syntax, you can come from here. You can take from here or over here as well. So this is how you can download. I've already downloaded. So I will show you how to use them, right? Okay, now let's, uh, I'm going to create one application from scratch, a new application, just to show you that uh, Google Map, right? And create, nothing else, very simple. Right? So, here I have, and now if we'll see here, shared components and plugins, right? There is no plugin over here, right? While I have already downloaded plugins over here, if you can see, this is simple map plugin, right? Uh, today I will try to cover the simple map plugin, so at least you will get an uh, idea how to use it. So then even you can use this report map, but at least I will cover this. And then if, I mean, uh, I will get some uh, requirement or something like that request, then I will maybe cover this report as well, uh, report plugin as well. So, okay, here it is. Uh, I am going to this, uh, copy this path and I will see import, right? Because I'm going to import this plugin. Plugin, I will select plugin and click next, sorry, sorry, sorry. I have to click here and, right? And this is my simple plugin, open. Click next. The export file has been imported successfully, next. Okay. So far I haven't written any code, right? Okay, here it is asking me Google API key right so you need to enter your uh, google api key let me try to find over here of course i will remove this uh, api key this you have to generate for, for your own and uh, but for this demo purpose i will be using it I think this is the API project. Okay. Right, I have different uh, API keys. Uh, API key to, I think, let me try this one. No, I don't want to restrict. Okay, this is unrestricted, but okay, I'm copying from here. And then I will just paste over here and I will apply changes. Right? If you see here, it is showing over here. Okay. Next, uh, this is now imported. Go to shared components and then come to uh, component setting, settings. If you see here, you will find this one over here and just click to see if it is there or not. It is there, right? And apply changes, nothing. If it is not there, then you should enter over here. Now my API key is there, my plugin is already installed. So what I will do now, I will create one blank page. 
write just blank page. map right just a name and then I will say create maybe a navigation under home that's it finish so far again I am going to mention I haven't written any code except copying uh, API key okay and this is my apex.oracle.com instance, right? It is live. You can create your account and you can use it. It's free. Okay. Uh, this is my page, right? Map page. So here, uh, let me create one region. And even I will call this region map, right? And then if you see here, down there is a called type. I will select this type and I will select this plugin as a type, right? Okay. Once you will do this one, you will have these attributes. Okay. Before going to attributes, uh, let me create one more region. And I will place it before my map region and I will say parameters just parameter right and then I will say create uh, page item and I will say this coordinates right and let me duplicate it and this I will say address right so two uh, text fields I have created then I will click map and I will go to attributes. If you see here, you have uh, synchro synchronized with item. I will select here the coordinates and down I will say um, address, uh, address field, right? Okay. Uh, another thing is there are different other fields you can try. Even you can change the marker icon and uh, different uh, uh, things are there then you can even initial uh, map positions initial zoom level minimum map height things like that these are configurable and you can try okay right now I will just run this and we'll see how it will look like any challenge okay excellent we got one coordinates text field Sorry, in both I need to change the title, my mistake, because I had duplicate. So here I will say address, right? So now there are two fields, address and coordinates. Uh, at the same time, because I have to submit these two fields as well, especially the coordinates, so I will create one button as well. This I will call submit or refresh. Submit. I'm just saying submit, right? And that's it. Okay. Now, if you see here, it is showing just a word map, and now I have I need to find coordinates, right? At the same time, if you see here, I have uh, opened just Google Map, just Google Map. So let's say, for example, if I have to take this location as an coordinate since I have I, I just want to get the coordinate so I will open Google Maps and right click and on the top you can find these uh, coordinates just click it is copied right then come back and enter in the coordinates okay if you will just submit this one it will give error because when you copy there's a space after comma right so you have to remove this space right and submit it should find the exact location on the map, right? Here it is. Is Islamabad, Pakistan. Okay. Now, for example, if you are trying, if you need address of certain location, for example, I just, I want to see from here, this page, I will just click here. If you see here, address at the moment, it is empty, right? So I will just click here. It will give you the address as well. 
and it updated the coordinates as well accordingly, right? See, the address is getting changed, okay? You can even move to satellites, it is done, right? And by the way, this is for street view, just try it. Uh, if I think it is get, there is any video recorded, uh, it will show you the street view. But anyway, you can try. Uh, this is, this was a simple map, one location, right, on, uh, based on the coordinates we entered, right. Okay, now the other uh, plugin that is report. So let's say for example, if you have two locations you want to show the route, then you need that uh, report plugin. But this was uh, simplest and uh, you learned how to enter the API key as well. So this is how it is. Now if you want that report, you can just uh, import that plugin and you can try and it will work because your uh, API key is already entered, right? Okay. Mm, let me show you a few demos over here on the JK64. If you see here, Google heat maps, directions. So if if you want directions, if you will click this direction, see on the right side, uh, they provided help as well, right? And how to write it, everything is there, right? Okay, then I will go to home and let me try something else. Uh, let me try marker clustering. So everything is there, how this data is there and you can try and how the SQL need to be written, it is also there, right? Okay, then here, if you see here, click a pin to get data about it. So let's say for example, if I will click, so all these options are there and these are built in your data itself. So you will select this in the SQL. See here, everything is there. Yeah. This is how you will write. Um, in this SQL, they are using Apex collections, but you can have your own table from there. Uh, in this format, data should be there. Then you can uh, get that information on the map. Right. Uh, I think it is now uh, very simple and easy way without writing any code. We achieved it. Right. Please share your feedback. Thank you very much. Allah Hafiz.